Hello everyone, and in this video we'll be having a look at a at an HTML editor which enables you to create web web pages in code format. Now this app does have a funny name to it. Uh, try bed it. I'm not really going to pronounce the name because it's a little bit of a unusual name. So that was why I said in the video an HTML editor because I couldn't really pronounce the name. But normally, as you can tell, we usually pronounce the app name. But today we haven't. Now there are several HTML editors that enable you to create web pages in code. And a web page is not just a Microsoft Word document with different tables inserted. It's not, you have to know what you are doing before you install and use one of these editors because the code is actually quite complex behind these web pages. So, luckily, I do have some coding skills under my belt so we can test this out. Also, some editors have some different have different options, which are quite complex and inaccessible to screen reader users. But we'll have to wait and see what happens. Now we've got a tutorial, but it's got all those bullet icons here. And they don't have any text next to the bullet icon, so it would be nice if that could be looked into in a bit more detail, whether the bullet should be removed or whether they should use you no know, typed text as opposed to image text. But again, I'm not too sure what they've got. Have a website you like and want to see the source code. We have a feature for that as well. Hey. Oh, okay. So it looks as though if you are interested in a website, you can actually see the coding behind the web page, bullet, 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 bullet. which button. is very interesting. And I haven't seen that in okay. an HTML editor bullet. before. However, because the tutorial is quite complex, as you just saw, it would be nice if you had a skip button. So if you are experienced in this app, you don't have to you know, make the piece by going through the tutorial. Recent project. There is an unlabeled button, which is a little bit of an annoyance. Now, one thing that I have noticed with this app is because I'm using a 14 inch touchscreen Chromebook, the one thing that I look for is whether the app interface uses the whole screen and I've just found out that it uses partial use of the screen so let us put this into full screen mode although it doesn't it doesn't really go full screen anyway which is very disappointing and so this app should be more open to any screen size because you can't just assume that people are going to use it on the tablet because in this case we're using it on a 14 inch touchscreen Chromebook and again using full advantage of the screen enables people to use the app comfortably so that unlabeled button that we talked about earlier is probably like the navigation drawer but again, it would be nice if it said that. However, in this menu, you've got settings and an extra section. But the extra section should be renamed because when you think of extras, you think of extra features to go with the app as opposed to extra options like they have here. So again, it would be nice if... It was sort of reworded differently. 
Now let us have a go at creating a project. Okay, so here we go. So you've got learn to code, which is fairly good. Get source code. Get source code. Projects. Text editor. We will be using the text editor so I can code manually. Okay. So looks as though that you can choose an option. Choose an option. Basic HTML format. Basic HTML format. Basic empty editor. And you can have empty editor. Empty and editor. again, it is good to have an empty editor sometimes if you really want to Less test your memory. Than. Less than P greater than. Test your memory and you know not, not rely on Less anything. Now if you are really stuck, you've got these Less options here. Less than P, less than div greater than. So let's go through what they mean. So div is a divider icon. Less than P greater than. Well, less no, not a not an icon. It's a divide is a division less than. Uh, clarification. Less than. Because when you are coding you have to declare things. Less than as opposed to pressing icon so less than p greater than the p less than p greater than declares that you want to write a paragraph less than a greater than a is link class and less class than is than your sections html css css is switch so you've got HTML and CSS. CSS is for styling of the website. And while you can do that in HTML, CSS is much more easier. And I think the HTML is a bit like the old fashioned way of doing things. You've got your less than sign and your right angle bracket, which is very useful if you're using a touch screen where the touch screen keyboard doesn't really have the less than available like a physical keyboard Editing. and if you do want to have the uh, less than and greater than symbols you would have to go into the symbol section and find those manually which can be a fiddly process and quite frustrating depending on the size of the device now let us do some coding here left angle bracket a f s and p f e p l greater than less left angle a p a b greater less than left angle bracket la a e a b right angle less than head one thing that i am noticing right is left that left a p a b right left a m f right is that the editing field and the screen reader are working beautifully with each other and this is not always the case with all html editors or apps of this nature that are used for programming so if you are a screen reader user you're sure to get a good experience out of this app however one thing that i have found is although i clicked empty text editor it already came with some options which is a bit disappointing because I think empty should really mean empty especially if you are testing your memory like we discussed earlier just give me a minute while I finish this section off. Now let us try the control S function for saving the document. But unfortunately you can't use the control S shortcut to save your document. So it might look as though that less than HTML greater than let us click the back button and see whether it comes up with a warning yes 
button. Keep work. Your new file has not been saved yet. Continue without saving. Keep work. Yes. Keep working. But yes. Button. Uh, Press. Keep work. Now it would be nice if you had a save icon as opposed to continue and yes Your because keep working. Button. no keep working yes. and. Button. Yes, it would be nice if it said leave without saving or keep working, which is fine, but the yes icon needs to be changed to uh, leave without saving. Yes, that is what we're going to do for now. RCAP launcher, application window. Rebellis, application window. RCAP launcher, application window. In summary, the tribe edit, or however you pronounce it, HTML editor, is quite a useful and handy editor with lots of handy features, such as discovering the coding behind the web page that you are viewing, which I haven't really seen in an editor before, so that is very useful. Also, the fact that you can learn to code HTML and earlier we did say in the video that you needed to know what you are doing and that's probably true to an extent however if you want to enhance your basic knowledge the learn to code function is very useful when you are editing with a screen reader the screen reader and the edit field is working is works nicely together so you shouldn't really have any problems there and you do have some helpful options in the editor as well for those who are using touchscreen devices, especially touchscreen keyboards. However, the, there is no short, shortcut to save your project. And because the app makes partial use of the screen, these icons are a little bit hidden. And overall, if you want to give it a go, you can give it a go. But we will be reviewing more HTML editors soon to test for accessibility. Well, I hope you found this video helpful. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more videos to come. And we will see you soon.